Okay, this is Fox back again for Sound Design Tutorials. This is the fourth part in the deconstruction of my 150 BPM track using only Synthmaster. Today we're going to be going over this pad. I will show you this pad quickly before we do anything. There you go, quite a rich and spacey pad. Again, it wasn't anything too stressful. It didn't take me too long to make because I was doing it, trying to do a quack track quite quick. So I will go ahead and initialize this, reset the preset. I use both oscillators. I didn't use a filter funny enough. Probably because it was quite a, a high pitched thing. I didn't use any movement with the filter. The movement you have got running through it, I did with an LFO on the wave index for oscillator 2 but we'll get to that in a minute for now oscillator 1 I kept on a standard sawtooth changed this to two voices clicked it on 3 to keep it nice and even oscillator 2 you're hearing as well um, oscillator 2 I changed this to a wave scanning oscillator a wave table, wave scanning wave table. Um, when I'm doing pads, I'm, I'm try and stick to quite smooth and consistent waveforms. So the waveforms that I had in the bottom, uh, I only chose four waves because I was just going to use the four basic waveforms: sine, triangle, square, and saw wave. And that's what I did. So one was a sine wave. You can see number four is highlighted, that means it's only going to be using this 4-3. With this wave index, it's going to be scanning through these first four boxes. So the first one was a sine wave. The second one was a triangle. The third one was a square. The fourth one was a sawtooth. As you see, when we, when we dial this wave, wave index dial round, you can see in the visual display, it changing between the three. So sine wave triangle, square, saw wave. I'm not changing them around actually. Basic, sawtooth, square. So yeah. You can hear the effect of modulating that it has on the, the overall sound. I am trying to work out why it sounds a bit low. I didn't have the master pitch down or anything. Pan pitch. I'll go back to oscillator one actually. I'll just sort of detune out. I pulled detune for oscillator one down to about quarter of the way. I kept everything else how it is as standard. Oscillator two. I kept detune twelve o'clock. Everything else how it comes as standard. As I say, real straightforward. Didn't change nothing. I set the unison to four voices. I pan these new voices quite the way around to about 71%. Didn't do anything with a cutoff. Didn't do anything with a de spread detune. I did push the spread round to about 31. <laughs> Okay, that is pretty much it in regards to the oscillators. As I say, I didn't use any filter, just oscillator 1 and 2, nothing in layer 2. The only effect I used in the master effects section, I did use quite a bit actually. We'll set that up first and then we'll go ahead and do the ensemble which I modulated later on. So go into the master effects, click this box here. I used echo, chorus and a reverb. We'll do the echo first. Still haven't sorted this glitch out, so you need to dial bus two round. That's working now. I'll dial it round anyway, just in case. So the echo, 
I had the mix where it comes as standard. I boosted the feedback a tiny amount, plus 77, a bit of drive. I set the left side to 1 over 8, and the right side to 1 over 4. If you see me do any tutorials with this before, you pretty much, I pretty much always do that with my delay. Distorter I turned on, I didn't do anything with it. Ok, I'll click the chorus on, we'll set that up now. The chorus, I had the mix where it is a standard, the width, the pan, the only thing I modulated was the feedback. Again, push this round to about 82%. Probably about the same as what I did for the echo. Uh, mod rate, I turned it down slightly, and also the depth, both of them to about 46%. Everything else pretty much is standard, left and right times the same. I pushed the phase around a little bit more than you get from its original position. Ok the reverb now, this really brings the sound together, it helps, still sounds a bit harsh the sound at the minute, when you put the reverb on the end of the chain, uh, it helps wash everything through, it helps mix everything together lovely. Uh, the mix side as standard, EL mix dead centre, the size, time, everything I kept out was as standard. Yeah, didn't change a thing, the only thing I always do is turn on the early EQ boost the highs slightly the late EQ was on, I didn't do anything with it OK, we'll set the synth LFO to modulate that wave index now just to give it that movement that we wanted. So pull it down to dead zero so we've got a nice starting point and we're going to use an LFO to modulate it all the way around to the right and then back again. So if you click on the wave index, modulation sort of synth LFO 1 is what I used which is at the top here, LFO 1. If you click on it, sync it to the BPM, I kept it on 4 over 1 which means it's going to take a whole bar to do a cycle. Kept it on sine wave didn't do anything else with it. The only thing you need to do is in this box is dial the amount that you want it to do. Uh, this bipolar, so zero, dead centre is zero. Obviously because we're all the way to the left in this box here, when you dial it right, that will take it all the way from that position to maximum and then back again. OK, we're getting there. We'll set up the master envelope, which is envelope 1. This controls the pitch, the volume, sorry. We're going to back the attack off. Standard pad sort of envelope. Push the decay around as well. Sustain level around at maximum. Release to about 1 o'clock. Envelope amount at full. We're just going to back this angle off. Give it a bit more of a subtle curb. That means the notes are going to come in gradually rather than being full amplitude straight away. OK, the only other effect was one of the insert effects which comes in this top box here, it's in number 3, 2 sorry, it's the ensemble, we want to turn that on, <clears throat> kept it on 3 voices, pulled the mix back because it's quite harsh if you have it on full, the delay back to about 21, a lot more space, plus 82, LFO 2 mod I always turn all the way down and use the first slot and I kept them as they were. 
pan phase and width as they are as standard. Okay, back to the ensemble. We're going to use this uh, <clears throat> the uh, envelope one, which we set up to control the amplitude for all the oscillators. We're going to use that to control this mix knob for the ensemble as well. So if you right click on that, modulation one source, source voice ADSR envelope one, which corresponds to this, and we're going to dial this round to the right all the way maximum, which means it's going to start at this point here, and then over the attack time, it's going to push this round to full. It's going to be a drastic effect. Okay, that's it. That's pretty much the sound. Then you could have an add uh, a filter if you wanted. We'll click the filter on. Assign this to envelope one as well, and get it to open the filter up. Okay, that's pretty much the sound done. I'll play that with the rest of the elements in this little loop so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, uh, the next one we're going to be going over then is the uh, trance gate, which is this. Okay, this is real straightforward as well. I'm not going to go into this now because uh, this tutorial has probably been dragging on a bit. But yeah, that is the next one we're going over, the trans gate. And that's the main lead group finish then. And it's just uh, bass. Just the main bass. And the sub. No point in really going over a sub. Anybody can make a sub. It's just a sine wave or a square wave, low past. So yeah, for now that's it. That was the uh, wavetable pad, and the next one will be the transcape. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you check me out on Facebook and Google Plus. It's Sound Design Tutorials. If you've got any questions, best thing to do is hit me up on Twitter. It's at Sound Design Tuts. 
Okay, thanks again for watching. Cheers.